So the idea in PowerShell is that whenever you run a command, like, I don't know, get event log, log name security, and let's just get the newest 50 so that this doesn't take forever to run. The idea is that PowerShell generates this table, but what's happening in memory is that it's generating a much larger table with additional columns, and it's only displaying the ones that its configuration files tell it to display by default. So in order to really, really work with this information, I'm going to need to get an idea of what other columns I have available. Now, as you learned in the chapter, from a terminology standpoint, each row in this table is an object, and each column in this table is a property. So to see them all, we're going to pipe this to get member. Or, if you want to really be a pro, it's alias GM. This is showing me I have quite a few properties to choose from. Container, entry type, index, uh, time generated, time written, event ID. Even if it says script property, as long as the word property is in there, then it's really a column in that table that you can work with. So once I know that, I can say, let's sort these dudes by event ID instead. And that is exactly what I get. Um, now, as it turns out, the event ID isn't necessarily shown on here. so well, th there it is, instance ID maybe. And the idea is that by getting into that underlying set of what columns are available by using GM, you can then start to use any of the other commandlets PowerShell has. So being able to pipe things to GM is a really key skill. And here's kind of a simple rule. Any command that produces output can be piped to GM. So a command like dir, which is really get child item, produces output. In fact, any command that uses the word get as its verb is going to be producing output. So I can pipe that to gm, and that's the output I get. I can run get service and pipe that to gm. I can run get process and pipe that to gm. And this allows me to see all of the many different types of, of attributes or, or properties that I can work with and sort on and so forth. So I could say get process sort on threads, because threads is one of the properties produced by get process. And then my output comes in that order. Now, currently, we aren't altering the display, and the default display doesn't include threads, but it is definitely being sorted that way, and I can kind of tell, because normally the process name is the sort column, and it's out of order. So it's clearly sorting it by something under the hood, even though it's not displaying the column that it is sorting by. 